Are you mad? Yes, if you are, I'm sorry. You Hola there, my sexy compadres y mamacitas. My name is Peter, and bienvenidos to my kitchen, where I'll be teaching you how to cook for charity. If you didn't know, I wrote and published a cookbook called The Legends Cookbook. It was inspired by Breath of the Wild. In celebration of the books, aprons, posters, and all the rest of the goodies finally being shipped out, it was delayed due to COVID, but it's finally being shipped out, I am going to do one of the fan favorite recipes in the cookbook, and that is the energized glazed meat. It is so good. Bacon wrapped filet mignon top with a beautiful glazed scallions. Oh, melts in your mouth, so delicious. So without further ado, I'm gonna be teaching you how to cook that. So let's get cooking. The ingredients you're going to need for your Energizer glazed meat is two to three eight ounce filet mignon steaks, four to six strips of bacon, some salt and pepper to taste, a quarter cup of honey, two cloves of garlic minced, a half a cup of balsamic vinegar, a quarter cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of ground ginger, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, one tablespoon of olive oil, two tablespoons of salted butter, some scallions to garnish, and lastly, some toothpicks. First, preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and in a medium saucepan over medium heat, you're gonna mix your balsamic vinegar, brown sugar, honey, ginger, and mustard and stir constantly until the sugar has dissolved. Once everything is dissolved and nice and nicer, you're going to bring it to a boil. Once it boils, reduce the heat to low and let it simmer until it reduces by half. This should take about 15 to 20 minutes. How to test if the glaze is done? Well, if it coats the back of the spoon, it is good to go. Remove it from the heat, give it a quick stir, and it should have this nice glossy shine to it. Before you continue, make sure you rest your meat until it hits room temperature. And now here's the fun part. We're going to wrap the sides of the filet mignon with bacon, securing them with toothpicks. Now, little heads up, make sure you completely remove the toothpicks before eating. They are not tasty, and you can choke, and I'm not there to perform the Heimlich maneuver. And after that, you're going to season both sides with a little bit of salt and pepper for taste. In a cast iron skillet over medium high heat, you're going to add in your oil and your garlic. You want to cook your garlic until it's fragrant, which means you don't want to overbrown it. But as soon as you smell that beautiful fragrance, then it's good to go to our next step, where we're going to place the steaks bacon side down. We want to cook all the sides of the bacon until it's this nice golden color, about a minute per side. Now here is where the flavor is gonna come into play. We're going to sear the top and bottom of the filet mignon for two to three minutes per side until it's nice and browned in the bacon fat. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Next, you're gonna put one tablespoon of butter on top of each steak and then bake it in the oven for seven to eight minutes. What I like to do while my steaks are baking is on my resting board, I like to season it with a little bit of salt and pepper for just a little bit more flavor. After it's finished baking, remove from your cast iron skillet and let it rest for a few minutes. We're almost at the end game, baby, and I can't wait to dig in. All we need to do left is pour all the glaze your arteries can handle, garnish it with some scallions, and bada bing, bada boom, your Energizer glazed meat is done. Enjoy. <laughs> now here's my favorite part of the video. We'll get the taste what we just made. So if you don't mind me, I cut myself a nice piece, and let's dive right in. Mmm. Let me tell you, as soon as it hits your tongue, BAM, you get hit with that flavor. That nice crispiness from the bacon, that garlic, that ginger, that honey. Not only that, that filet mignon, you bite into it, so juicy, so good. That butter, oh, it hits your tongue, it feels like you died and you went to heaven because it is that good. You don't need to go and go to a restaurant, pay $50, get a steak with all the works. No, 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 you could do this at home and make an amazing dinner any time of the year. This has to be one of my favorite recipes in the Legends Cookbook, and it's a fan favorite. In my town, the church bells are ringing because it's heavenly, this dish. It's so good. Let me tell you, you're gonna eat this 
and you're going to be at the gates of St. Peter or whatever religion you follow, heaven, Valhalla, whatever, that's where your taste buds are going to take you because it is that good. Trust me, guys, try this dish and you'll absolutely love it. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said in the past, when you watch these videos, money is made out of money is automatically donated to charity. I keep on the funds I make my videos. Every single penny goes to charity. So please, guys, if you enjoy this video, share it on the socials, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, Reddit, whatever you use, it really, really helps me out. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and comment below what you'd like to see next on Cuckoo's Kitchen. And if you disliked it, give it a dislike and tell me why. I love reading your constructive criticism. I am sorry for the delay, guys, with cooking episodes and every other stuff on my channel. I've been so busy. I've gone back to flying and I've been so busy trying to get these out of the door, trying to get them to people's doorsteps so they can enjoy their cooking and their aprons and all that stuff. So I haven't had the time to sit down and actually do a video, but I'm back. And with being back, I have this video and another one from Alyssa coming out soon. And that's going to be celebrating another special cookbook we did for charity for COVID-19 and Black Lives Matter. So stay tuned for that. But um, I'm sorry for the delay, guys. Uh, there will be more videos coming out soon. And uh, I really, really hope you enjoyed. And if you were interested in buying a copy of the Legends Cookbook, all you need to do is follow the Legends Cookbook on Twitter or our Discord or Instagram, and we will let you know when they go on sale on the Yeti. You can buy our poster there, our beautiful aprons, this hard or soft cover, whichever you prefer. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Stay sexy. Adios. Bye-bye.